Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather around the table of the Lord and we beg for the grace that we may truly see the hand of God guiding our lives. And so let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator and redeemer of human nature, who will that your word should take flesh in an ever-virgin womb, look with favor on, your, on our prayers that your only begotten Son, having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise your hand on the neck of your enemies, 
the sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's swell, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent, the king of beasts. Who would dare rose him? The scepter shall never depart from Judah, or the mace from between his legs. While tribute is brought to him, he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall leave peace for the people, and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the sun his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Please stand. God Most High, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the beginning of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac. Isaac, the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hesron, Hesron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab, Aminadab became the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asaph. Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah, Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh, 
Manasseh, the father of Amos. Amos, the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Sheltiel. Sheltiel, the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel, the father of Abiud. Abiud became the father of Eliakim. Eliakim, the father of Azor. Azor, the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Akim. Akim, the father of Eliud. Eliud, the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mathan. Mathan, the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus, the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kapag meron hong nagsabi sa atin, ilista mo na yan. Ibig sabihin, pag ililista natin, ito'y paalaala na meron tayong babalikan, meron tayong sisingilin, merong nakatanda o may nakatakda na ating kailangang balikan o di kaya ay kailangang kunin. Naglilista tayo para maalaala natin yung mga kailangan nating gawin. Naglilista tayo para makita natin kung sino yung mga nangutang sa atin. Naglilista tayo para meron tayong gabay kung ano yung mga kailangan nating tapusin. May lista tayong sinusundan para hindi tayo makalimot. Kaya nga, yung kasabihan natin na ilista mo sa tubig, ibig sabihin, huwag ka nang umasang maaalaala pa iyon. Pag nilista mo sa tubig, tiyak yon burado na. But looking at our gospel for today, we also hear a list, a list of names. And sometimes after hearing those list of names, it will be difficult for us even to recall a single name from that list. But if we have time to read at that list, for sure, we can also remember those names that has been proclaimed in our gospel today. But it is not just about remembering those names because looking at the lists of names, we also hear how Jesus entered the list. And when Jesus entered the list, it, was, it is also a reminder for us that God never forgets His promise. That God will always be faithful to His promise. God will always make His promises. God will always fulfill His promise. May listahan, hindi dahil nakakalimot ang Diyos, may listahan dahil tayo ang nakakalimot. May listahan hindi para ipaalaala sa Diyos kung ano yung Kanyang gagawin. May listahan para ipaalaala sa atin kung gano kabuti ang Diyos. And this is also what our gospel would remind us today. We are a forgetful nation. Forgetful about the promises of God, forgetful about how faithful God to uh, how faithful is God to us, and we there is always that reminder for us to go back on how has how, how God has been faithful to us. Paano ba natin susuklian yung kabutihan at katapatan ng Dios para sa atin? Merong listahang ipinapaalaala. Pero hindi ito para sa Diyos. May listahan na ibinibigay para ipakita at ipaalaala kung gano'ng kabuti ang Diyos 
at kung gano'n niya pinapakita at tinutupad yung kanyang pangako na hindi nakakalimot ang Diyos sa kanyang mga pangako. Let us beg for this grace. Let us look into ourselves. How have we been forgetful? Ano ba yung mga nakakalimutan natin? Maaaring may mga simpleng bagay tayo nakakalimutan. Pero sana, wag nating makalimutan kung gaano kabuti ang Diyos. Minsan hindi lang natin makita ng malinaw kung paano gumagalaw ang Diyos sa buhay natin. Pero kung babalikan din natin ang listahang narinig natin, wag lang sana nating makita yung listahan ng mga pangalan. Pero makita natin kung papaano pumasok ang Diyos sa listahang ito upang sa gayon ay ipakita niya na tinutupad niya ang kanyang pangako at hindi siya nakakalimot. Please stand. As a frail, weak, as a frail and weak people, we bring our petitions before our Heavenly Father, who in His mercy and love wants us to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. For every intention, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors may follow God's will and seek the good of those under their care, especially the poor and the less privileged. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That as a community, we may recognize the goodness in each other, show charity to all we meet, and refrain from judging or condemning the wayward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That those who have lost their way and are feeling the pain of loneliness, anxiety, and rejection may find hope in the mercy and love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That the sick, the housebound, and those who are suffering may be encouraged and strengthened by the knowledge of God's love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins and rest in the peace of heaven forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. Heavenly Father, may the power of your love always sustain us. Help us not to get distracted by the cares of the world and not to be overcome by the evil in our lives. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify these gifts of your church, O Lord, and grant that through these venerable mysteries we may be nourished with the bread of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, our King who is to come. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, I am not worthy, worthy that you that should, you enter, should enter, enter under my roof, but, but only, only say, the, say word, the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be, healed. be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by these divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that aflame with your spirit we may shine like bright torches before your Christ when he comes, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.